what we will cover today, well, broadly, we're going to have a quick skate through um, intellectual property. Now, firstly, what do we mean by intellectual property? Um, well, broadly, there are four basic uh, types. Copyright, which is books, plays, etc., um, and translations. Um, we have trademarks, which are, well, I think we know what a trademark is. It's usually some sort of, sort of design, which is a sort of selling logo, which is established. Uh, then we have patents. Now, a patent, a registered patent, is about an invention. Um, some machine or something which does a job differently. It doesn't have to be better, it doesn't have to be cheaper, but it has to be different. Uh, and it has to have a commercial use. Uh, and then we have possibly the least known, which is design, registered design. And people do tend to get these mixed up, including professional broadcasters. And um, if any of you remember, three or four weeks ago, there was um, a report on the High Court case involving Apple and Samsung. Apple sued Samsung um, over what they alleged was an infringement of their registered design. And you may remember the judge said that it wasn't an infringement because the new one wasn't as cool, something like that. Uh, anyway, um, the reason I mention it is because even professional broadcasters make mistakes. Uh, the lady from Sky Television was parked outside the Royal Courts of Justice in the Strand, and the camera went to her on about four occasions over a period of a couple of hours, and each time she was talking about patents, she was talking about copyrights. She mentioned design, but only in passing. And basically, she completely missed the point. I mean, you know, she did not say that this was about a, an a allegation of infringement of a registered design. That's what the whole thing was about, but totally missed by her. So uh, anyway, then there is also um, infringement of these various um, rights, these property rights, and then there's passing off, and then we'll deal briefly with how copyright law affects translators.